everybody, it's me. And I want to start off by giving a thank you to Cynthia and Kay for um, using my PayPal link to help support my channel. Um, I appreciate it. Every little bit helps. Um, so let me remove that paper so you can see the painting from the last video. And it turned out quite nice, actually. I like it better now than, because when it was wet, I wasn't so sure how I felt about it, but I'm really liking it. So I'm pleased with how that one turned out. And that was the one that was super thick, and it is even thicker now, but um, uh, I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> it's thick. So I am actually, this is a Lazy Susan. And I'm going to put it on, um, I think I'm actually going, I've got this, one of those flower pot thingies, which has dried resin on it for the other side of it. looks pretty good. So I started to do a video, this video, and there was a chirping noise. So, you know, like, um, uh, like smoke detector when the battery goes out. So we have a smoke detector, so I took the batteries out, and then I was still hearing it. And so... So we have, I mean, I know pretty much every single thing in the main area of our basement. And in the closets, I know everything. So I'm like, I'm pretty sure I've never overlooked a smoke detector hiding in the closet. So I called my husband down. And of course, then we're standing silently trying to figure out where the noise is coming from. And now I'm digging around. And then, and then we narrow it down to a bookshelf. One that I keep my art stuff at, but like the bottom just has crap in it. And he's like, what's in that case? And it was my um, camera, an old camera, took the battery out. You know what it turned out to be? An old timer that is probably three or four years old. I have no idea why it was beeping intermittently. Maybe these beep when the battery is going bad. But anyways, I was so happy to figure out what the heck that was because it's one of those things that was driving me up a wall. All right, so this is a Lazy Susan from Ikea. And I they do have a shiny finish on them, but I've done one before and I had no issues. So last week I, I put one layer of gesso on and sanded it. And I did a pour on it, and that was the pour. I didn't, well, I did film it, but I deleted it. Um, when I realized how bad my paint was, and it was really chunking up. And so I went to wipe it off, and the gesso came off. So it turned back into the bare thing it was before. So then I took rough sandpaper, rougher, and sanded... Um, Tried to sand all that finish off of it. And then I primed it with my Dutch Boy paint, just straight primer, paint primer. And so now, now we've got this. And I'm gonna do a flip and drag. And I've got Artist Left Brilliant Magenta, Artist Left Cerulean Blue, and Yellow, which has silicone. Um, I am still determining if I may do just a single splash of Prussian blue, um, just for a little bit of depth for the darkness. And I forgot to grab a cup for my flip and drag. So, jeez. Oh and I may do like, oh, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? No, I'm not gonna. 
Yeah, I am. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tape around the edges, which will keep the paint on the surface and let me work with it. And then the, my favorite part is when, okay, this is not working. When I pull the paint off and it all just kind of flows down. So I have gotten my stone coat resin and I contacted them and I was hoping I would be able to, cause I know that they have supported other um, YouTube artists and you know, had them been able to have coupon codes and whatnot. But um, I never really heard back from them. So I went ahead and bought it anyways, because that's what I bought. I bought the countertop one for my parents' table. And then I bought the art one um, for art. And what I'm excited about is to see if, because people are saying that it's thicker. So I'm excited about that, because maybe if it's thicker, I won't have the issues with the um, canvases where it pulls away a little at the sides. So I am excited to use it, but, um, and I've heard they're a good company. People, there's somebody from their hometown went to something they had. So they do sound like a nice company, but I still just have a soft spot, even though I've, well, I've only been in contact with Art Resin like once. I'm a, uh, um, but uh, I really like the Art Resin Company. I don't, they just seem like really great people. So, and this was actually, they charge shipping. Stone Coat charges $15 shipping, whereas Art Resin has free shipping. So with the using various artists uh, discount codes, which knocks $30 off, but you're still paying. So really you're only getting 15, well, you can do the math. So it ended up, I think it was, God, I wanna say $90 for a gallon. And I think 90, maybe 95, something. And Art Resin is 119 for a gallon. So, similar but it is less so I'm very curious about it I have a commission painting I need to resin with but I am definitely using art resin for that because I'm not about to try a new product on a painting that already sold because that's just asking for trouble and if you are curious about the paint I'm using the Dutch boy with Floetrol and water I have paint pouring videos, click on my name. My, the, the top video on my page is paint pouring 101 uh, and other things. So that's a great place to start if you're new. Um, and I have an Amazon list in the descriptions that will take you to um, show you where I get my math the mallet I use, and the washing machine pan that I use, and various other things that I use. Okay, so, oops, I should probably press the button. I'm like, why is there no flame? And I do link you to the torch, but not to the propane just because I don't want to be liable for anybody setting their house on fire. <laughs> and I don't know if I would be, but... So, there's a link to the torch head, and I absolutely love that torch head because it's self-igniting. I know some people use smaller, like, kitchen torches, but I just bring out the big guns. Um, when I first started this, my dad, who now you've met in the table video, he who has every single tool and machine and everything that you can imagine, um, he gave me my first torch and it was actually MAPP, M-A-P-P, M-A-P, um, gas. So it was like a, t it's a narrow and really tall or really long um, bottle. 
and it was almost empty when he gave it to me. And that I had to light with a uh, lighter. So it was not one-handed operation. So I like the one-handed. But I do not use that map um, anymore because it's, it's really hot. I mean, it's for like, um, I'm gonna say welding. So I do not need that kind of heat. Anyways, that's my torch story. Plus, I just really enjoy using it. It's fun. All right, so let's start with the magenta. And let's add the yellow with silicone. Um, quite honestly, when as soon as I put it on here, I will know which silicone I used. Um, I don't think it's the WD-40. Um, I think that it is spot on treadmill silicone, also linked on Amazon. But look at how pretty it is in there. I'm actually going to put my spot of blue. And I'm using silicone in this because I'm doing a flip and drag, and um, I do want cells in this one. Oftentimes I don't want cells. And I should have brought down. Um, Gosh, I'm, I'm pretty sure if in the search button for my front page, look under Lazy Susan because my first Lazy Susan pour um, is absolutely gorgeous. And it was way early on, um, a little bit more pink, way early on, like I think I made it last a year ago. And I actually took the Lazy Susan part off of it, and now it's just like a picture or, you know, hanging art, whatever. Um, and it's shades of blues, and it's just, and it's around the edges, so there's a ton of white space, and it, it's one that I am super proud of, and one of my earlier resin pieces as well, so... Really proud of that one. And this I am going to pop with a thumbtack, which I need to add these to my um, Amazon list. They are all metal instead of those cheap plastic ones. So when I resin, because it's really hard to get those cheap thumbtacks into all four corners to level it. So I bought these metal ones and I can use a hammer and pound them in. And they're so much more sturdy. But I don't think I have added those to. So I am going to move the Lazy Susan instead of my hand. Okay. So I'm going to let it sit for a second to see where the color wants to go. So it is Saturday for me. Um, I don't know what day it is when I do this. It might be Wednesday. Wednesday or Thursday. But tonight I'm seeing Culture Club and Thompson Twins. And I am so excited that my excitement has... Um, because it's an outdoor concert and I am not a big fan of being outdoors um, in the heat because it's about 100 degrees. So I'm not a big fan of heat, but I'm so excited about the concert that I'm not even thinking about the heat. And it's so funny because even my mom, she's like, I'm so jealous. She goes, you have to film. You have to film bits of it and text that to me. She's like, I want to see Boy George. So I'm super psyched. But as far as Thompson Twins, it's only one. So it's like Tom. <laughs> but um, I mean, I'm kind of excited for them. But uh, the only song I can think of is theirs that keeps running through my mind is that one. Hold me now. Oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not good with words, lyrics, but it's so funny. I've got to borrow 
um, chairs from my friend, my neighbor, and my, uh, my bestie, who um, she is always my chair dealer when I need a chair because my husband and I are probably one of the few Americans that don't have any kind of um, those lawn chairs that you can take with you. You know, those, those lightweight ones. So we're probably the only people that don't have one. And every year, well, probably because I don't go outside. <laughs> but all, whenever I need one, I always tell her and I texted her. I said, I swear, one day we will buy our own. But why buy it if I can just borrow hers? And hers are really nice. And she doesn't watch my videos anyway, so I could really say whatever I wanted about her. <laughs> Nah, her and I went walking this morning. And then came across two other neighbors that were walking. So then we just kind of stood in my driveway talking for a long time. Okay. Um, I'm loving this. I'm excited about the brightness of here. Um, but this ending looks unfinished somehow. I'm going to go get a straw and those are over. So I, the plastic, ow, jeez. <laughs> so the plastic straws to me don't work at all. Um, I do have paper straws on my Amazon link, but, um, I got these at Michael's. They have tons of them, like in their party goods section. And they were $9.99 on clearance for $3.49, and there's a hundred of them. And I probably use one maybe a week. So um, this should last me quite a while. And I only started using the paper ones last week. May because I had bought them for my daughter's graduation party and determined that they work best for this. So. Ooh, look at all those cells. Wow, all that color was hiding under there. That's a lot of color that was hiding. Now look at this. Look how that is spread out. Because before, just like 30 seconds ago, that area looked like this. You can rewind and check for yourself. But, um, and the more I've been, you know, I've been focusing on this and getting the um, straws and the rest of it is changing. I'll blow this part, gosh, I, maybe because it's not on the bars, it's lower, but I can't sit and get even with it. And if you know anything about me, you know I just did that because it was smooth edge and I don't like the smooth edges. Somebody asked me why I don't and I just don't. And when I say that I don't like them, on my own work. <laughs> and they, on other people's work, I've seen gorgeous ones. So when I say things like that, I am just specific to my personal paintings. So I fear that when I torch, all that white is going to pop up. Hang on, I got to get a drink. And I am <laughs> drinking some Powerade, Gatorade, whatever it is, since I'll be hot all night. 
So I sent my husband out. He's like, are you serious? I said, I have to hydrate. Because, as I said, it's 100 degrees and I'll probably have a few beers. And I'd prefer not to dehydrate. <laughs> of course, the beers, since it's a concert venue, will probably be, you know, 20 bucks each. I'm back to resin. Art resin now has uh, um, tinted uh, bottles of resin tint. And I'm thinking about, because they've got one with all the colors, but that's I think $99, which I'm not going, I'm not going to spend $99 on a trial. But I think I'm going to try them. I, I really want to try my hand at, um, you know, a resin pour. Because so far, none of mine have worked. Probably because I'm using the wrong stuff. Because um, every time I've done one and posted it, I've gotten great feedback as to how to improve. Totally blanking on this Instagram woman. Oh, who makes, she's doing resin geo, geode pores, and they're so beautiful. Her name's Nikki. Nikki Paints and Eats, I think is her Instagram handle. But she does some pretty stuff. There's a woman named Iveta who also does gorgeous work. But I don't know. She's on Instagram too, but I'm not sure what her handle is. I always forget about Instagram. And so when I do upload my stuff, it's like all at once because I've Seeing how deep this is to see how much is going to move on its own. But yeah, I always forget about Instagram that I have it. I'm not very good at updating it. Just like I got an email today. Um... Because I bought a website domain and it automatically updates so they wanted, you know, to say, you know, are you canceling or just let it automatically update? And it's anosborneart.com. And uh, I had a website for maybe a month last year, a Shopify one. And that was very difficult to keep up with as well. <laughs> And it's so easy for people to get a hold of me here, because I'm here, Facebook, Etsy, um, and Instagram. So uh, it's so easy to find me anywhere. But I am keeping the domain, because I mean, the domain's perfect. So I decided it's 15 bucks a year, so I may as well just keep it. So I believe, I want to say I'm done, but I can't yet.
So that might seem nitpickety that I'm trying to get these little bits out, but I feel like it needs it for balance. There is a chance, because there's not a ton of paint, but there is excess paint, that um, there is a chance that it could uh, tilt off this way as it dries. But even if it does, it'll be fine. And I'm really glad I used the silicone, because sometimes I do want cells. Oh, look, you guys got a good view. Pretty decent. And I don't think I even tipped it, did I? I don't think I tilted it at all. So thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye.